Hello student, today our topic on tendinopathy or different type of tendinitis and tendinosis. Okay, and welcome back to Physiotherapy Junoon channel. I, Dr. Vinita. What are the tendinopathy? It's a failed healing response of the tendon with haphazard proliferation of the tenocytes, intercellular abnormalities in tenocytes, disruption of the collagen fibers and subsequent increase in the known collagenous matrix. Okay. The term tendinopathy is generic okay, and descriptor of the clinical conditions. Both pain and pathological characteristics associated with the overuse in and around the tendon. So, in today's topic, we see tendonitis and tendonitis. What is the tendonitis? It's a chronic, persistent, or recurring condition caused by repetitive trauma or an injury that hasn't healed your patient having prior condition of any tendon injury okay and patient continuously using that tendon using that limb using that uh, deformed limb okay and that due to that the re repetitive trauma or injury which is not healed properly causes chronic chronic condition it is called the tendinosis tendinosis is a terminology for the chronic pain in the tendon Tendinitis is a chronic injury caused by an accumulation of small tears in the tendon that have failed to heal properly over time. Here you see that how are the fiber bundle and tendon form. Okay, in this picture. Next we see the tendinitis. What is the tendinitis? Tendinitis is an acute sudden short term condition in which inflammation is caused by a direct injury to a tendon here you see that this is not the chronic condition it is a sudden or a short term condition like if you are uh, playing something if you are uh, doing something and that time of movement you got an injury and that injury, the sudden trauma, the short term condition and the inflammation because there, there is a direct injury to the tissue. There is inflammation. That is called the tendonitis. And itis means there is inflammation. Here you see in the picture, the redness is showing the tendonitis because injury on the tendon okay and there is direct injury and it causing the inflammation okay that is the tendonitis next here we see that what is the difference between tendonitis and itis many of the students are very confused about these terms the difference are reflected in their suffix with osis and meaning means the abnormal or a disease because that is chronic. Because in past patient having that condition but he doesn't do anything for that condition and he or she using that limb extremity continuously and that becomes chronic. And the term is itis as I mentioned earlier many inflammation the symptoms and patterns of the disease also vary okay because if you have a chronic condition patient and if you have a just 
short term patient okay or uh, we can say the acute patient then you see the difference both of them so there is a vast difference between the, both the conditions when you see the patient you will check how this is tendinitis or tendinosis like in tendinitis here you see in this picture tendinitis there is inflammation or a direct trauma here tendon rupture okay and the tiny tear here is you see the achilles tendon which is very normal but the tiny tear here rupture which is cause the tendinosis and here you see the difference here some inflammation is occurring but there is no inflammation sign then what are the other differences tendinosis does not involve inflammation as i mentioned earlier as such while it can be painful there is usually no redness no warmth of surrounding at the soft tissues when examined under a microscope tiny tears like micro trauma of the tendon may be seen but there would be no evidence of inflammatory cells this is the very very important difference next is tendinitis by contrast the result in inflammation as is characterized by swelling redness and feeling of warmth in addition to pain when see under the microscope inflammatory cells would be present okay this is totally different to the tendinitis here you see some condition like in lateral epicondyle okay injured common extensor tendon what you see in tennis elbow also known as the lateral epicondylitis it specifically affect the tendon that connect the forearm muscle to the outside of the elbow the condition is further aggravating as the muscle repetitively rubs against bony bumps of the elbow causing wear and tear in addition to elbow pain weakness of the grip is also commonly seen in the patient here some differences like tendinitis can occur in many tendon throughout the body particularly those around major joints we often refer to them by their location or the specific tendon they affect next is the jumper's knee jumper's knee involves the tendon that starts on the patella knee cap and extend down the front of the knee to the tibial tubercle the shin bone shin bone as opposed to an acute injury patellar tendinitis affect athletes and other whose knees are repeatedly impacted by jumping or repeatedly lifting it should not be confused with runner's knee patellofemoral pain syndrome in which pain is caused by abnormal contact and movement of the patella on the femur or thigh bone so here is the differential diagnosis you have jumper's knee we studied in next video you see that the condition where jumper's knee happen and the inflammation part acalis tendinitis in acalis tendinitis affect the tendon called the calcaneal tendon it's behind your uh, above your heel part that connect the calf muscle to the calcaneus heel bone acalis and calf tightness can contribute to the conditions particularly in older people as muscle and connective tissue experience micro tear through everyday activities that cause the tendon to flex and retract like walking or climbing stairs bones pressed on the heel can also rub against the tendon effectively abrading it over time
so here you see that the causing factor is not the direct trauma but there is a bone spur many of people are suffering from these diseases really like bone spur on the heel part and due to that they have a condition called the achilles tendonitis here you see the picture achilles tendonitis how it's a tendonitis how it's happen and uh, there is tendon degeneration happen in that what are the treatment very important part first uh, when we see the treatment first uh, we have start the diagnosis part start the assessment part here you see many differences between tendonitis and tendonitis so it's easy for you to how to diagnose and yes the treatment which is already i mentioned depend upon your diagnosis what evidence you found in the patient so let's go to the treatment one of the most beneficial treatment for tendonitis is physical therapy specifically eccentric contraction of the damaged muscle tendon have been shown to be effective at reducing pain and healing damaged tissues in more severe cases where there is a partial or likely rupture of the tendon surgery may be indicated because tendonitis is not associated with inflammation oral anti inflammatory drugs cortisone injections cryotherapy ice application are less likely be beneficial when treating the condition thank you so much for watching this video and if you want me to more video on zoom and more sessions on zoom please comment me below and thank you so much for giving your time which is very precious and please like share subscribe my videos